So let's say I, I have a rubric in a Word document. Here's my categories, format, introductory paragraph, paragraph development, language conventions, tone, and then I have four points, three points, two points, one point. This is fortunately set up in the way that I will need to enter it in Blackboard. So you see where it says add rubric right under the points possible that you already did? Now here, the preset is three categories, novice, competent, proficient, and they're each weighted equally. Formatting, organization, grammar, okay? With nothing written in here. That's no good for me. I want, first of all, to add a column because I have four areas. I have four possible points. I have four points, three points, two points, one point. So I need another thing here. Now, levels of achievement. It's going from worst grade to best grade. That's kind of, I don't know. I like it for it to go to best grade to worst grade so that they don't get discouraged. I click this little flip arrow thingy and it flips it around. And what I can also do, by the way, it says rubric type, percent, points, so I'm going to switch it to points. Now, so I'm going to do rename this. I'm going to rename the one that's my new column to four points. I like to do just names of the number of points so that they don't feel like they're novice. And then with here, I have to give how many points. So for each category, I have to do this. I have to go from one thing to another. Even though it's the same for all of these, I have to do it each time. Now, what are the names of my categories? My next category is named introductory paragraph. So I'm going back to the rubric and I'm renaming it introductory paragraph. And I only have three categories here, so I need to add two more rows. So I hit add row, another row, add row, another row. Then I go back to here and I have two more categories to name, so language conventions and tones. So I go here and I go and these categories don't have points yet, so I go four, three, two, one. Look at this, I have my format written out on my Word document table, so I'm just gonna copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. That's why I'm saying use the rubric all semester. You only wanna do this once. I click Submit. Now, after I've clicked Submit, very important, Click OK to assign the rubric's maximum points as the points possible. My assignment was worth 150 points. My rubric is on a four point scale with five categories. Four times five is not 150. If I click OK, it's going to change 150 to 20. I don't want to do that, actually, because I still want the points to be 150. So I always click Cancel. When I click Cancel, it'll multiply whatever that I need multiplied. Now, the rubric is def by default not shown to students, so I click with rubric scores. Now, my rubric's there. Submit. Subscribe to Colbert Classroom and be on the lookout for new videos.